very expensive. Oh, okay. All right, so we'd have a, a big old notation of uh, n cubed, which is very, very expensive. And obviously this is not the best way to solve uh, this problem that we have here. So, but anyway, the reason I asked you or I tasked you to, to think about a brute force approach is because it's a very, very good start uh, to start uh, off with your solution so that you can work your way up as you get a more uh, better or an optimized solution. So I'll just uh, leave the brute force approach at this point, and then I'll go to my optimized uh, approach where we'll utilize uh, something called, uh, just open another one here, sorry. We will utilize uh, an optimized approach that is called slide, sliding window algorithm. So sliding window, uh, window algorithm is a, is a section that is, I'll just put first the string here so that we can, uh, see. Oh, sorry. Okay. Then I'm looking for a rectangle here. Okay. Good. So uh, a sliding window algorithm is a section that is uh, formed of a uh, parts of a string. And uh, this string that we have here, we might need to, uh, to use uh, two running point pointers or yeah, two running pointers to be able to achieve that. So by sliding window, uh, I'll paste this again, uh, text this uh, two, so that we can understand the sliding window technique. Okay, um, go on and use the rectangle. So as I said, the meaning of uh, the sliding uh, window is a section that is formed over parts of the data. This case, in our case, we have a string. So our first window will be at this point. And we said we will implement this code using two, pointing, two pointers or running pointers that will initialize uh, this specific window boundary, okay? So this first, uh, just do that. So this will be our left or our starting point. And then we will have a ending point. As you know very well, a window has a boundary. It has a static point and it has an ending point. So I'll call it, uh, sorry. Uh, I'll just call it, so this is sec, what am I missing? Uh oh. I think you need to find a way to deselect the eraser. Oh, okay, I cool. found it. Okay. So this is a window and a window has a left side and a right side, okay? But for us to get to this boundary, we have to have every, uh, uh, both pointers starting at the same uh, point so that right will move all the way to this uh, right side, okay? So that's what exactly we're going to do here. So the first uh, pointing uh, string will be A and then B. Then I'll, I'll show you in the next one where it will be. The other window yeah. might be here. It can even be as long as, 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 as you can go. But in this case, we're going to use two points, two pointers. So that's why we are limiting it to that level. Then we have C and A, then we have A and B, and then we have 
uh, B and C all the way to the end. So the whole point, uh, uh, the two pointers will represent the starting index and the last index of this particular window as it forms the boundary, as I mentioned. Uh, so what we're going to do right now, we will, we will look at our data and walk through uh, the entire string to see how our technique will work. Um, it will be easier to just erase this. Uh, okay, that's good. So now let's start. Uh, I'm going to come here. I had uh, put my string over here. Uh, and then text is it here. Okay, so now we will have our uh, brush, our left, our starting point, and our right, which is our last index. Okay, so what we need to keep track of in this uh, uh, when we are trying to solve the 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 longest string. We need to keep track of the max length. That is the longest substring. Okay, so I'll do that real quick. I'll put it here. Max uh, length. I'm just call it length. Is equal to zero. And then something else we need to keep track of is we are keeping track of the left and the right and the max length then also we need to store our 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 uh, our strings our substrings as we go so that we can check for duplicates and we know where our left pointer will start and where our right pointer will end so we'll come here and put our sorry um, I'll put uh, our our hash map right here. Let me just hash map. Uh, right there, and then I'll put the ending here. But so that we can understand very well. Uh, let me put the L here and what it means. L will be starting index. Oh. Starting index. And then I'll put our right here as the last index. So that we, we don't forget as we are as we are trying to uh, move or iterate through the a string, the, the string, yeah. So also something else we need to find out, but I think that will come in later. Uh, so right now, I think we need to first uh, uh, start iterating through the entire uh, string. But the beauty of the sliding window, we will only iterate once. So what we're going to do first, we're going to record each substring in our uh, key in our key value data structure, the, ha the hash map. Let me just put it here so that uh, key value. The value will be our index and our key will be our characters, the characters that we'll have encountered as we iterate through. So left is a start index, right is a last index, and to form the boundary, we will move from the first uh, substring and proceed to uh, to the end. So uh, first thing we're going to do, we're going to get R and check what is our first substring. Our first substring is A, okay? Oh, sorry, I think I rushed. I need to make you understand why. Uh, our first substring uh, is A. And we check in our hash map. Do we have the value of uh, the character A? No, we don't. So what do we do? We put it here. And so we keep record of its index. That's why I put the indexes up here. 
so that we don't have to, to struggle to count. And uh, the, the index of A is zero, okay? Then, what? because we're keeping track of our max length, we'll check what is the length of our, uh, our, our substring. So this is where the length of the window comes in. Uh, length of the window, uh, length of the window, then we'll, uh, we will have to, sorry, I need some water. No, it's fine, oh. thank you. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So what we're going to do, we need to compute the length of the string or the character that we uh, we have on our hash map. But how do we uh, how do we calculate that? We calculate uh, using the uh, last index and the start index plus one. So we say r minus l plus one. I know there's a big question here. Why are we deducting or why are we getting the difference uh, between the last index and the start index? So the reason why we do a plus one is because uh, R minus L alone is zero based, like zero minus zero is zero. So we need to add one to offset this uh, the zero, uh, the zero base. So to make you understand, I'll quickly explain. Uh, I don't know if any of you knows about a uh, fence post problem. So uh, the fence post problem, I'll just mention real quick. Assuming, let's just divert first, just uh, come here and do something real quick. Your boss comes and tells you, uh, I'll use Daniel, I think, yeah. Daniel, you're supposed to work from 8 to 11 a.m., okay? And you're supposed to clean uh, floor 8, okay, to floor 11. Are we together? So in your head, you're like, ah, this is easy. I'll allocate every hour to every floor, okay? So I want someone to tell me how, how much time will Daniel use to clean the floors and how many floors will Daniel clean? Can someone uh, tell me that? Was he mentioned how many floors? Sorry, I available? said, uh, sorry, from floor eight to 11. Was it mentioned? Eight floor to 11th floor. Okay. So I want first to know how many hours okay. will he be working? Three hours. Uh, how did you get that? So, if it's one hour per floor and the eighth floor to the 11th floor is three floors. So you you get the difference between 11 a.m. and uh, 8 a.m.? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Sorry? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you mm -hmm. get- uh, That sounds- That sounds? Uh, that, actually, that actually looks like four floors to me. Okay, uh, why do you come up with four floors? <laughs> because it is the time is three hours, that's correct. But you said the floors are four. Mm -hmm. It's going to be okay. the eighth floor as well, right? Sorry? I said the instruction is also to clean the eighth to the eleventh floor, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> Okay, okay, you can you can tell us how you got that. So um usually right if you do like eleven minus eight, mm -hmm. you're going to get three. Yes. But if you decide to count it individually, okay. starting from eight, like if you if you forget the fact that eight is also part of it, you okay. just count nine, nine, ten, eleven, which is three. But in actual okay. sense, it is four floors. Okay. Thank you very much. That's a very good answer. And that's the same problem we have on the other end. So the first post problem, 
Sorry, I Ruth, I don't know if it's me, but your voice sounds a bit um, like auto tuned. Is it just me? Okay. Can you hear me, everybody? Your voice is still shaking. Yeah, yeah it sounds, sounds like, auto -tuned. Like, sound like a robot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what? <laughs> All this time? Okay. No, no, okay. just no, 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 just said no. How about now? How is it? Yeah, it's a little bit clay. A little but bit. But it's, it's, it's not still shaking. Clay. Is oh, it the same thing? Yeah. Okay. All this right, main thing right. is being recorded. Okay. So I'll go back to what I was explaining. Thank you for that. Uh, so uh, the first post problem is exactly what uh, you explained earlier. So if we are to get the number of hours, we'd say 11 minus eight. And for real, it's three hours. You'll be working for three hours. But when it comes to cleaning floors, it's gonna be different because it will be 11 minus eight plus one. Sorry, that, that plus one. Uh oh plus uh, plus one. That's when we get our answer. So the same, same uh, approach applies here. For us to get the length and to offset the zero base, we have to deduct uh, right minus left, uh, then plus one, okay? So in this case, we'll say zero minus zero, and then plus one. And then we'll get our, our uh, length, the length of the window is equals to one. And then we will compare to the maximum length that we have here. Is the maximum, is the length of the window greater than the max length? Yes, it is because the length is one and the max is zero. So we cancel zero and we have one, okay? And then we'll come to, uh, to R, cancel R there and then we'll move to the next point where it's B. And then we'll check, do we have B existing in our hash map? No, we don't. So we place our B there in its index, which is one. And then we do, we compute the length. So we'll say the value of B, which is one, minus the value of uh, the index of L, which is zero plus one. So we'll get one minus zero is one plus one, get two. So is two greater than one? Yes, it is greater than one. We get two. And then we continue. We move R to C. When we get to C, we check. Do we have C in our hash map? No, we don't. We put it there and then we compute uh, the length. So we will have C is two minus L, it's at zero, and then plus one. So we get two minus zero is two, and then plus one, that's three. Is the length greater than the max length? Yes, it is. So we put three, and then we continue. We cancel our R, and we come to A. Then here, there comes a problem. Our R has A, and if you ask a question, does A exist in our hash map? Yes, it exists. So what are we going to do? We're going to check if, uh, and that's why we are keeping track of uh, the hash map and its index so that we can check if the index of L is, if the index of the A that we found here, this one is greater than L, then what we're going to do, we're going to say this A, let's call it scene number, Sin character, okay? We'll call a sin character, and then we will say sin character, is it greater than L? If it's greater than L, we will move our pointer to, the, to that particular sin character plus one. Uh, let me just type it so that we can understand. Sin plus one. So what I'm saying is, so for us to be able 
to put the A here and continue with our, our longest substring that is not duplicating, we have to check and compare if the index of the A that was existing or the one that we saw already, is it greater than L? Yes, it's okay. Well, it's greater. Of course, we'd have a, a greater or equals to L. So we'll go to this character that we saw already. That's the index of zero. That's why we're tracking the index of the characters. And then we say plus one so that we can move our, let me just erase this uh, so that we can have a cleaner uh, section. Sorry, I cleared too much. So our R, our R is right here, oops. Our R is right here. And then what we are checking is because our L was here. So we will say the sin character plus one. So it will move to this level as we continue to check our, uh, our next longest uh, uh, substring. I think there could be a question there. Does everyone feel comfortable? Do they understand? No one? No one, so, okay. Um, uh -huh. Just trying to sync everything in. Okay. Um, you said that we should check. So I'm checking for the index of the, the first duplicate, right? Okay. So you're saying the index of the first duplicate is greater than the index of its kind, right? So, sorry? You're saying that if the first duplicate's index okay. is greater than the index of its kind in the first uh, appearance, what do you do? Uh, well, I think, uh, sorry, you didn't get, uh, uh, the first part, what I said was <clears throat> what we are keeping track of in our hash map is our scene characters, okay? In fact, we should have called this scene, okay? So mm -hmm. these are the values, these are the characters that we've seen prior, okay? So when we moved our right pointer to A and we checked our scene characters and we found there is an A, now our focus comes here. We check the index of this A and we ask ourselves, is this A that we saw, the index, greater or equals to the first boundary of the window, which is our left pointer at A? At A. That's where it was, right? Yeah. Then if it's greater or equals to L, we shift or we move the pointer that same character plus one. Mm. Else we will ignore it. Okay. Because okay? it mm -hmm. will not now be in our in our longest substring. Are we together? Yeah. Let's start now. Uh, yeah. okay. Anyone else stuck? Mm, okay, I'll take the silence as uh, everyone is okay. All right, so that's what we're going to uh, exactly uh, continue doing, that cycle. So we check our map, we compute the length, we compare to the max length and move our right pointer, that circle, okay? So now we're at A and uh, oh, someone, I think there's something maybe I should have made clear that our hash map or our scene characters are not helping us identify the max length or keep track of the max length. The only thing that it's helping us identify is this particular uh, logic here. Uh, the fact that uh, uh, the scene character is greater or equals to the left pointer. So don't confuse uh, the arrangement of the characters and the max length and why and how we are getting the max length. So I'll continue 
And uh, I'll say uh, now A, I don't see the like the space, I can just cancel it and just put it here. So A is at index three. And then uh, then now we go what we're going to do, uh, we will check uh, A. Uh, let me erase here so that we have space. Uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, so now we will check our A and say our A is our right. So is it my network that's that's um bad or what else can hear us as well? Yeah, I can I can hear her too. Uh same here, right. I can't hear. All right. Okay, um is there any question so far? Like she said earlier, the ash map is not um the hash map is not a major concern. We are majorly concerned about the the uh, maximum length. So um, the hash map is just um, to keep track of uh, scene characters. So that is just uh, the role of the uh, of the hash map. Okay. Um, so like, uh, like she said, the, um, so we will check if, um, the, uh, the, Hi. um, sorry. okay, you're back. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. 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 I don't know what happened. Uh, I'll just share the screen again. Uh, Okay, sorry. Um, yeah, I don't know. Why did you lose me when I was computing this, the length? John? You, you yeah. just grabbed it. For A. Sorry? Yeah. Oh, for A. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, thank you. So again, now we go to the next point, which is B, and then we record our B, which is four. And then we do a four minus one plus one so four minus uh one sorry 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 something happened sorry i missed to see that um just forgive me that for that this b is a duplicate is a duplicate where the l pointer is at okay so what we're going to do we're going to check this b exist in our hash map uh, and it exists at the index of one. So we'll check is one or greater or equals to uh, our left pointer. Uh, so if yes, increment the pointer and move it to C. So we cancel that. And now we have a new starting point, a new left border and a new right border. So we have C, A and B. So what we're going to do again now is uh, list that B here, but this one we cancel it, list the B here and put it as four. And then our L now, it's shifted from B to C, okay? Because we have checked the C number plus one. Now it's at C. So we will see, sorry, this is a mistake. B, so we'll say uh, B, R is at four minus two plus one. Four minus two is two plus uh, one, you get three. It's equals to the max length. So it looks like we are constantly uh, uh, identifying that there's a lot of uh, substrings with the longest, uh, which are long and they're equals to three. So then again, we move to C. 
and we check, is it existing in our hash map? Yes, it's existing. So we see the index is two. So is two greater or equals to L? It is. So we move our L to A, okay? When we move our L to A, and just clear this so that we can have a cleaner section. Uh, sorry, where was my R? My R was here. Right. So now we have uh, L right here. So what we're going to do again, we're going to uh, check. So your, your R was on C. Your where R was, was my R? C. Oh, I was on C, sorry. Okay, right there. Thank you. So we'll check C and record that is at five. And then we check is uh, five, uh, let's see, five, five is at index, uh, sorry, C is at index five minus our two, let's see. Uh, oh, there's a L mistake. I lost something. L oh, L is at three. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. That's three plus one. So five minus three, that's two plus one again, three. So then again, we move our R to B and we check is a B existing? Yes, it exists. So we check four. Four is four greater than is four greater than uh, our B right here? Yes, it is. So what we do in such an incident? So what we do in this case, uh, let's see, that's A, B, C, B. So we'll check again is uh, A is, uh, is the value of the B that was seen greater than L. Yes, of course, it's greater because it's four and L is three. So again, we move this L uh, past this scene value plus one. So our L is going to be at C. Um, I'll erase that so that we can see very well. Um, C at L, L will be C, and then R will be here. So now we have a new border of the L. So what we do, we record our B here. This one is out. Uh, our B here is at six. And then we compute the length. We say six minus five, minus five. That's one plus one to get uh, two. Is it greater than max length? No. Uh, so we don't do anything. And then uh, we move our R to a final uh, step, which is B. Then we see we, we have a C, a B that is existing in our hash map. So first we check the value of B, the index, and then we compare to the B that we saw. Is it greater than our left uh, pointer? Yes, it is. So we'll move L to B, that is the sin uh, character plus one right here. So our window will be at uh, B seven, that's our right pointer. And also our left pointer is at index seven. So the next uh, step is uh, right, uh, right pointer, we'll move to the next, but now since our string is no longer, uh, like it comes to an end, then that's where it ends. So I think uh, when we complete uh, the length of the window, uh, it will uh, it will correspond to to the total of all these characters. And uh, now we've come to the end of our string. So I think if everyone understands our logic here, I think we can now go to uh, writing our code. And also I can accept questions uh, to clarify uh, what is not clear. Is everyone okay? Yeah, I think I'm good. 
John, do you think I left out something? I left. Um, no, no. No, okay, okay. No. So I'll be coding in JavaScript. I maybe at the end of the call we can have people show their different languages or uh, what you think will be okay for us. So I use my playground to type to to write the code. And then we will go to our let me see. Oops. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, there's one that we were keeping track of. Oh yeah, this one. So we need to keep track of uh, so many things uh, before we even start writing our code. So I'll just create uh, my playground here. Uh, Say longest or substring, substring. Mm -hmm. As it loads, just okay. So I'll initiate uh, my function, I'll call it a uh, longest. Just call it longest substring, longest uh, substring. I'm using an error function. So we expect a parameter s as our string. Okay. Now, before even we do anything in our function, I want us first to write our test cases. So we have a function here with console log in JavaScript. Our console log, our function, and then our uh, script. So we come here and see the first test cases. Here we go. So we have A, B, C. Uh, maybe I can write it down A, B, C, A, B, C, B, B. And the rest we can write them together. Okay, so that's A, should be in quotes, A, B, C, A, B, C, B, B. Okay, here we said we expect, um, uh oh, I lost it. Uh, we expect a three. Expect it to return three. And then we go to the next one. I'll just copy this. Okay, the other one was C, 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 C. Okay, whatever the number can be as long as possible. Then we have an empty string. That's empty. And then we have just a single string. And then we have, uh, let me just write that one, A, B, C, D, F, K. Uh, A, B, C, D, F, K. Right. So here we expect one. Sorry, here it's A, B, C, D, zero. D. Oh, A, B, C. A, B, C, B. Oh, B, sorry. Thank you, thank you for that. Then here we expect one. And here we expect, uh, I'm forgetting, <laughs> five. Uh, okay, five. So our first uh, test case uh, that we have is this that we need to make sure we work on it first. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to check if the string is uh, null or the length of the string is uh, uh, less than zero or less, less than one or zero? Zero. Okay, you'll correct me if I'm wrong, but let me just first uh, set the length const then uh, s dot length. 
Uh, okay, so that I can use it in many, uh, in different uh, parts of the code. So we're going to check if the length, length of uh, the string is greater or equals to zero. Then if yes, we need to return zero, okay? Then we need to keep track of uh, certain things. First thing will be the pointer. Second thing will be the max length right here as we saw. There's the pointer, the left pointer, then the max length, and then the, the hash map, okay? So we're going to write that. Uh, let's, um, let's call it start index is equals to zero. Sorry, I just put it on the same line. Then something else we need to keep track of is max, uh, max what? Oh, max, max length. length. Yeah, max length. Length uh, is equals to zero. I think that's it. And then the next thing we need to uh, keep track of is the hash map. So we call it uh, hash, 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 okay, hash map. Okay. Then set an empty object. Okay. So I think we we've... say you have two indexes. So like Sorry? the last index. The last um, index. Think... Yeah. The last index. Uh, yeah. Thank you for that. Uh, I think the last index is uh, what is moving, okay? This is the right that will keep iterating the entire string. So that's where we will have our for loop to keep track of the right index, okay? So for, uh, let's, oh, let's call it last index. Uh, initiate the counter at zero, then last index, last index is should be less than the length, it's right here, and then last index increments, so that we can iterate through the entire string, okay, so then uh, just, uh, sorry. Okay, now what do we need in our for loop? What we need to, uh, to work on and uh, have in our for loop is first we need to take care of uh, the current character, this one's, all this that we are storing in our hash map. So we need to keep track of them. And that's why I'm thinking we assign it a, a local variable uh, in our for loop. Uh, let me call it current uh, character. That will be equals to uh, last index. But that is the index. So our string, yeah. Okay, so we have that character. Uh, we've taken care of that because we will need it. Then uh, also we will need to be able to tell if there's a duplicate that's come in from our string and compare the indexes. We'll need to keep track also of uh, previous uh, seen character. Uh, to be able to 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 ex to get it from here. So if we get uh, a maybe at this point at three, we get an a and we check and we find there's an a, then we need also to take care of that. So here we would say um, this um, const what do we call it um, sin Sin, oh no, let me just call it previous sin, sorry. Previous sin character. 
then because we have it here, we just say hash map, hash map uh, that that. Uh, then now this is where we will do our duplicate check. So we'll say if uh, previous sin is greater than, remember, if that's what we were checking, if A is greater than uh, where the, dup the, the, the sin number is. So we'll say if it's greater or equals, sorry, uh, here, oh, yeah, is greater or equals to the left, the left, where it's the start index. So we'll say start index, uh, start index. And then what we need to do here is, uh, what are we supposed to do here? We were supposed to get the scene plus one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I will return. Um, uh, mm -hmm. Excuse me, Rose. Okay. Yeah, why don't you use previous scene character index so that we know that you are actually tracking the index, not the character. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that. I think that's very important, Soji. Uh, previous scene index. Then we'll say that left, uh, which is start index, will be equals to. Uh, previous sin index uh, the sin value and then plus one yeah plus one okay then I think that's it for our duplicate check once we are done with that now we can go to uh, checking our what do we have to check we need to check our length length uh, length of the window length window length of window will be what the length of the window will be right minus l plus one that will be last index minus that index plus one so uh, last index minus uh, start Sorry, start index plus one. And then, uh, sorry, I need to put this here. Okay, now that we have the length of the window and we have the, uh, the max length, we need to compare these two so that we can have, we can store the max length as the highest uh, or the longest uh, substring. So uh, I'll set the, normally what we do in JavaScript to compare a, a maximum value, we use math, math.max, uh, put it here. And uh, because we're comparing max length, and sorry, oh, what did I do? Right here. Uh oh. What did I do? Oh, okay, got it. Uh, max length. We're comparing max length and the length of the window. Like the window. So this is what we will set our max length as. So we'll update it equals to. Uh, we check the length, the max of these two. So then we will expect to get the, uh, the longest substring. So then uh, if our entire for loop uh, runs, then what we're going to do, we will return uh, max length. Uh -oh, sorry, return max length. 
But let me see. Oh, we forgot something. The hash, hash map, we said that. Oh, but yeah, we forgot uh, the character, the character and the index. Yeah, let me just put here so that I can explain. Uh, the current character, which is the index, last index of this, uh, this uh, string. So we'll take current character. It will be equals to the value as it changes. So if it's at C, it's five. If we move to B, it's at six. Move to B, it's at seven. So I would say is equals to uh, the last uh, index. So that is our code. Uh, you help me uh, do the next step, which is our due diligence. We'll check our errors. Of course, there are some errors that occur when we are typing. So that's the length, that's okay. Uh, start index, and then our hash map, where we're storing our key value pairs, and then, okay. All right, that is okay. All right, the last, uh -huh. max, max length, okay. So I think, that is our code. And if you're okay, we can run and see if we get three, one, zero, one, five. What's your feel? Um, uh, okay, um, I just want to explain line 13. Okay. okay. So um, line 13 helps us to um, jump to the um, newest duplicate. So um, like she has shown, we are, so in a case where we have um, A, B, C, B, A, and um, um, A, B rather. So B is the new duplicate. So um, the, the line 13 help us to, uh, to jump to that uh, new duplicate if it is the last index. So that is, so that is why that line is very important. Thank you, John. That's a good explanation. Uh, anybody else? No. Okay, I think we can go on and run our, our code and see if we get uh, answers and then we'll check the time complexity and compare with our brute force and see if uh, we made any improvement. So I'll just run this. Voila, here, we got our answers. We have three, we have one, zero, and one and five. So we took care of all our test cases, which is a plus, and also our code, our code worked. So what now we're going to work on, we're going to check the time complexity for this uh, particular uh, solution that we have here. So uh, this assigning local variables, that's always all of one. Uh, and then we have, uh, we've done a lot of uh, assigning here. And then we have our for loop here that is going to iterate through the entire uh, string that of course we expect O of uh, n and time complexity because we have to uh, like now for example uh, this iteration is fully dependent on this uh, string it could be as long as could be any uh, sorry I put some could be any uh, length can be as long as uh, so that's why we come up with uh, of n time. And then we are storing our key value in our hash map. So that's also uh, another thing we need to consider. That will be our uh, O of, of n space. Space, yeah? Sorry. So we have O of n time and O of n space. 
what did we have in our previous brute force solution, if you remember? If you remember very well, we were looping twice and also we were checking for duplicates and was dependent fully on the entire uh, substring iteration. So it was n cubed and uh, the space was O of n because we were keeping track of the string uh, O of n because we were keeping track of the entire string characters as we were iterating through each. So you see, this is a major uh, improvement and uh, coming up with our optimal solution. I think this is a better, uh, uh, better solution. So I think that comes to the end of my presentation. So uh, suggestions are welcome, questions, yeah. Yeah, um, I kind of have a, not pretty much a question, though. This mm -hmm. uh, line nine to line um, 12, right? Nine to? Since line nine to line 12. Can you hear okay. me? Yes, yes. Yeah. So um, I'm pretty much, I don't totally understand JavaScript. I use Java, but I'm pretty much seeing that um, we are getting the index from the map the okay. previously seen index here from the map and then we are checking if it's greater than the start index and mm -hmm. we are assigning it to the um, previously seen index uh, plus one so okay. can we say that that line nine to line 12 um, can mm -hmm. we just say that if we've seen the character itself in the map before mm -hmm. Let the start index be the maximum between the start index and um, the previously seen character index plus one. I'm sorry, you lost me. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, I'm saying um, basically what we are comparing is the yeah. previously seen characters index and okay. the um, Start index. So what we're just basically doing is to collect the max, like assign them the maximum between the start index itself and uh -huh. the previously seen character index. Yeah, that's what mm -hmm. we're assigning to the start index. That's oh. basically what we're doing there. Yeah. Yes. 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 Uh huh. Okay. So I'm saying instead of just retrieving that index from mm -hmm. the map, then checking for which one is greater and all of that, could mm -hmm. we just say if the if the um if the current character exists in the map just assign the maximum between its value in the mm -hmm. map and the start index um john you want to help me with that um so i i totally understand the question but um, the 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 criteria for the maximum now is in line ten and eleven. So, um, in line ten and eleven, um, so we are just trying to see which one is maximum between the two of them. That's that's uh, the, that's what line ten is saying. So, if um, start index is um, if previously seen index is greater than the start index, so you are trying to see which one is maximum. So what he was saying was that. Um, instead of us writing, uh, are you saying that instead of us writing an if statement, we can just use the concept of line 15 and mm -hmm. choose the max between, um, is that what you're saying? Um, e, not, not that if, not the, not that if, uh, um, like kind of removing the if statement, the if statement is there, but instead of checking whether the previously seen index is greater than the start mm. index. It just checks okay. if the current character we are looking at is within the mm. hash map, yeah? Okay. So it does not do that retrieval. Yeah, it just checks whether it's in the hash map, then assigns the maximum between the value of that current character we stored in the hash map, plus one and the start index, just the maximum between these two. That's just basically yeah. what I'm saying, yeah. Yes, exactly, yeah, that will work, that will work. So um, I I had a um, let me see a case whereby what if the the um, the previously seen character is not in the hash map? Maybe we are starting from the first index, for instance. So um, 
for other programming language, there can be there can be an error that um, index is not uh, located. So, like he said, his case will be able to um, how do I say it to cover for it uh, cover for that um, kind of um, let me say key error um, something. So that is. So I think uh, that approach is also also good. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm typing along with you, um, Rose. So I wrote the same thing you just done in, <clears throat> in Python, but okay. uh, in my line nine, like he said. Okay, maybe so, you can share your screen. Um, okay, let me try to do that. Okay. John, am I the only person who can't hear you? Yeah, I can't hear you immediately. But can mm -hmm. you see my screen? Yeah, we can see yeah. your screen. Okay, so um in 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 line nine. So if um so what my line nine is saying that get the current key, uh the the current key or the current index. Or the current value of the um, of the key, um, and assign it as previous, and zero if is not there. So, um, so there. Um, if I try to um, get the key without returning a default value of zero, I that line will have um, um, an error. So. Um, so I so that um, so what he just said we uh, we actually work what he just said we actually work. so you check if it is in and then you just find the maximum between um, the previously the previous plus one and left so uh, I think it makes sense mm -hmm. yeah so um, we can also give it a try uh, <laughs> yeah so I, I, I just I just coded it up on Java now of course. So he's saying that um, if current character in hash map, um, so you assign the previous previous value is not okay. So you assign the current value to be equals to the max of the current value. And current value minus one. No, not current value minus one. Whatever previous is, which is a hash map dot get call. That that line nine. Yeah. Plus one. No, no, no. I'm saying the what we are what we are what we are checking the maximum against is what is in line nine. That's the previous. Hash yes. map dot get then the current comma zero then plus one. Yeah, that is what we are checking for. We are checking. We are checking to get the um, index, the previous index of that um, current value. So, for instance, now. Um, in 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 the case of this a b c d d e f now now look at this when we get to d now d duplicates that is um where we enter inside it. that gets into line nine and uh, line 10 now so now look at this now now we when we get the uh, previous previous is always um if you check at um, the dictionary the ash map rather and it's return index three then, so if three is greater than left, 
so if um is not there now it will assign previous at zero but for instance now when we get to d at, at this place now the next d here and um it checks for d and um d is in the previous um hash map then it will now try to because we want to now move um the the left now we want to move the left from maybe the left is at a before now we want to now move because we have found a duplicate now we want to move the left to b that is what um uh, this line is for so if um uh, this guy now the position that we found the duplicates is greater than where the left guy is then increase the position of um uh, the left by one do you understand so um if you are yeah. still going if you are yeah. still going to be checked yeah i'm with you oh yeah i I posted something on the income messages. I totally get what you're saying um, on that on that side. So I'm just trying to say that um, it's the same thing we are doing. But we're just going to copy that line nine into that line ten. Okay. Um, check for the maximum. Yeah, that's just basically what I'm saying. Oh, like having something like um, ash map um dot gets isn't it yeah exactly okay plus one oh yeah i think it's it's the i think it's still the same thing yeah so this is just the previous uh value that we are trying to uh to get and this is the current so make the current the left guy hmm. Okay, should be left equals to max. So we don't need to do um, hash map plus get, we just need to get the, um, okay. So there won't be collision instead, so we can, do this yeah yeah so something like this yeah yeah exactly okay um so I'm I'm coming. I'm trying to check to to just see if it yeah. So it returned nice. Still work. So um, still the same thing. So it worked. It's it still returned nice. So um, A B C um, A B C D D. Yeah. So um. So it's, still the, it's um, the same thing. So what this line 12 we just try to do is um, avoid collision, um, like in this case, whereby you are now returning zero if um, the previous, um, if the if the um, in the value that we are looking for is not found in the in the hash map. Okay, nice one. Thanks so much. Rose, is that clear? Yeah. Hey, hey. I yeah, so if so in yeah. the mat ash map, if if the guy uh, the value that we that we've just uh, met, if it is in the ash map, that means there's a duplicate. For instance, mm -hmm. in point A. So yeah. what we now do is for us to now move the pointer now, we want to move the left guy. So for us yes. to move the left, we just check the maximum um, value between the left index and the position that we got the duplicate. So the position that we got the duplicate is this. Like right. is this rather, sorry. Yeah, is this one, this one here. Yeah. 
yeah so yeah so we just um um use plus one if it is less if it is um more than so if it is less than then we the left will still remain there okay so that is exactly so that is just um, all right so it's still it's but avoiding um collision thanks so mm -hmm. much <laughs> Yeah. All right, that's a bit done. Thank you. Um, uh, huh? um, can you run your code in the lead code? Let's see um, if we pass all test cases. Uh, oh. We can use your example in mine as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can use your own yeah to test. Let's okay. see. You can, you can share your screen so that we can see the results. Okay, okay, okay. So Let's see that. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. It's good. But sorry, I think, I, I think there's, oh, sorry. I have a question. Yes. Um, I noticed, I don't know if it's language differences, right? Mm -hmm. I noticed that whenever I implement something in um, Java, it runs probably, let's say, 100%. But mm -hmm. in JavaScript, it, it, it runs like 20 something percent, like 30 something percent. Virtually, mm -hmm. this same code would run 100%. I just ran my code now and it's like 100% on this code. Mm -hmm but mm -hmm. it's running very slow so i i totally don't know why it's like that on um javascript and some other languages i've used um okay well i wouldn't really be sure of the reason why but also there's another way we could implement this uh the way we are setting the hash map we create a new hash and i'm sure that will be will uh make it faster like with we, our solution would be faster than 36% of the submissions. There's still another way that we can set the hash map by creating a new a new map. So I think that also would be, can count. Okay. Um, well, from, from experience, um, mm -hmm. so the, the JavaScript and Python are interpreted languages while right. the um the java is a compiled language so right. this is what happened at runtime so at runtime when you run the code um the interpreted language will we run line by line and uh, while the compiled language we already convert that code to a um to a uh, how do i say we have compiled it to a binary uh, code or something such that um you are not interpreting like you are interpreting the whole code like it will like it will have bind it together that you are interpreting the whole code at once so um um so that's just the difference why we usually have um um uh, that case whereby mm -hmm. um so um so when you so it's just the same code but you just find out that uh, one is running 100% and the other is running at a uh, low up. So it's just that one language is um, interpreted. So while the other one is um, is compiled. And um, so many things is um, is um, going on. So for interpreted language, there are some things that are happening. It is checking for type. It is allocating wow. memory. It is doing all those. So, all those things are so that is just um, the advantages of um, or the advantage of compiled languages 
Java, C++, um, and all the rest that compile language. So that is just the advantage. So they already compress the code to binary, and then the the um, the the computer can interpret can load it at once, unlike interpreted. So let me just give you a very simple um, or interesting scenario. So I want to talk to a Chinese man. I can't. I don't understand Chinese. So the only way I can talk to him is to get an interpreter. So when I tell him, when I tell the guy that uh, tell the Chinese man hello, then he will tell him niao. And then uh, I will tell him to do this, and then he will tell him. Now imagine I'm talking to him, speaking Chinese. Which one will be faster? So that is the compiled language we already compile uh, compiled to binary, and then so there is there's not there's no time for checking, uh, maybe syntactic error. And so that's just so before compilation, all those things will have been checked before um, running it. So I think. Um, the advantages of compiled languages. Oh, that's a nice discovery. <laughs> yeah. So, um, any other person that has just um, run and implemented the same code and tried to run it maybe in another language, uh, let me run it. So, and see if um, we are on the same page. So thank you so much, um, Rose. It thank was, you too. I really break, you broke too. down the question. And uh, I think if I see that question another time, I can just, uh, I can just uh, master it. You better it not without, fail. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I think. Okay. so anybody, yeah, any additional input? Because we've spent close to two hours. OK, I think I can so share that, uh, something. Okay. Uh, I had a link here for anyone who needs to get a deeper understanding of the of the sliding uh, window. This will be very good to watch and listen. It'll explain uh, the sliding window technique. So I'll just post it on the group so that we okay. can. Uh, uh, which it's, uh -huh. there you go. Okay, I think for me, that's it. I don't have more to add, unless there's someone else who wants to say something. Daniel, Tosin, Maxwell, uh, Mutuma, Anthony, and Jay, Solid, Victor, something? Uh, none from my end. Okay. I have something. It's a question, right. actually. Okay. Uh, it's my first time here, by the way, today uh, to right. attend this session. Okay. And yeah, no. I, I'm. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll, I'll be attending now more frequently, especially, you know, I think I've seen there's Wednesday and uh, Saturday, I think. I'll, I think I'll try as much as I can to attend the Saturday interview sessions, interview preparation sessions. So I have something, I've seen you share a link on Slack, but I don't, I would like to join the Slack group. If, uh, if you can probably supply a link to join. Okay, okay, um, let's see. It's just, uh, I think Tosin should have the, Tosin had the, 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 the Tosin might be yeah. having it. <laughs> Justin, could you share that on chat so that he can access the Slack group? I used to be in a Facebook, uh, not Facebook, uh, WhatsApp group. Yeah. I, think it's not, I think it's no longer active if I'm not wrong. Oh, I... Yeah, it's just in we've, moved, um, we've moved from the WhatsApp group to Slack channel now. So um, yeah, so I'm, I'm I'm stuck in the WhatsApp group and I can't post anything. And I think um, the the Slack would be much better. Slack would be much better. Does anyone else have that? 
because I, I don't know if yeah let me let me get the link i'm trying okay. to get okay. the link thank you okay there is one on meetup but it's it's saying it's expired uh -oh. okay sorry. later <laughs> Something went wrong. So that's the link. <laughs> so that's the I'm link. A, um, I'm getting a 404 error. I don't know why. I'm also getting a 404 error. The link. Uh, wow. The link, uh, it's, it's expired. Expired. Let me see. I'm not sure why. I can. Um, okay, um, give, give me a moment. Let me try to look for uh, another link. Okay. Okay. That'll be helpful. Someone else can tell us something. Uh, Anybody? I'm also new here and uh, it was very encouraging to to learn with you guys. Uh, I think I'll be I'll be joining you on Saturdays. I think. Oh, thank you very much, and you're welcome. Yeah, thank you very much. You do this okay. uh, every Saturday at four. Or what's the arrangement? Yes, yes. Uh, every Saturday. Uh, uh, what was it? Six p.m. Six p.m. GMT. Yeah. Yes, 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 6, 6 p.m. No, 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 1, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. GMT. Yeah. Oh, sorry, 1 p.m. The 6, 6 p.m. is the, the, the Wednesday meeting, yeah? Yeah, that is for the projects. Mm -hmm. Can you type your email in the, in, the, uh, in the Zoom chat? So maybe I can send you an invite, or, I, or maybe the... Um, Maybe today can send you invites so I can just copy it down. I couldn't get another um, link. I think okay. that would be good. They share their emails and then you will share with Tunde. Exactly. All, all right. Okay. Yeah, then if, if I could add if I could add anything on to the the problem that we solved today. Uh, we use the sliding sliding window problem, and it's it's actually a technique that is used to solve uh, multiple of problems. So if you can really have a grasp at the sliding window technique, um, it, you, you can solve problems such that if you're told get the maximum sub array of size k or any size, uh, you can solve. Uh, problems with re regards to the difference between the maximum and the minimum, minimum average of k continuous subarrays. So anywhere where you see uh, keywords like maximum, minimum, length, uh, subarrays, such such things, the the sliding technique, uh, sliding window technique is a good uh, it's a good solution to such. Uh, I'm also going to be sharing a link on the on the Slack for maybe just an explanation of the sliding window technique and the kinds of problems that you can use that technique to solve. Thank you so much, Daniel. That's very good. So John, I've sent you a direct message to your inbox. Yes, um, yes I've seen it, I've seen it. Okay, okay. So I, I would um I would tell the admin to add you to the to the Slack group. All right. Yeah. So Daniel, you've mentioned sliding window. Just to ask a, a question. Uh so uh -huh. the problems that you discuss here uh, on Saturdays, uh -huh. are you are you using different techniques to solve different problems? Are there times that you're using, you're discussing maybe tree problems, graph problems, uh, you know, such kind of things? Maybe like every, do you sort of rotate or do you just just get a problem uh, randomly and apply, a, you know, whatever technique that's suitable to solve that uh, problem? Uh, 
Okay, so uh, I think John can, can better answer this, but uh, what mm -hmm. I can tell you so far is we usually pick a question. Uh, uh -huh. it, it's, it's open, it's a community driven group. Uh, you can, if you have a question or a technique that you really feel is important for the other people to learn, you can share. But also most of the time we'll just select a question and then we'll do uh, anything that can come up in, at an interview stage. Could, it could be a coding question, it could be a design question. So we just do pick one and then it's not, uh, we are notified in the group that uh, whichever problem we are going to look at uh, come the Saturday and then you can have your own personal look, uh, try and learn. If you'll have any problems, you'll come and then ask and then you can get more answers. So it's more of community driven. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Exactly. So, so thank you, thank you, um, Daniel. Okay, so um, the meeting will come to a close. Um, so the same time next week. Um, uh, uh, maybe before we close. Uh, what is something? Yes, I have something. So uh, last week on Saturday, uh, for us to be able to present today, uh, Tunde asked for volunteers who could present today. And that's why maybe I'd say today was a success because it's not that. So does anyone feel they can uh, volunteer to present next Saturday? And they'll select the question themselves and then they'll send it to us uh, in the course of the week. Anyone? One person, two persons, three, whatever the number. I'd be glad to participate. Okay. Uh, but could you be having a, like a full of questions you can select from? Yes. Um, so um, or prefer a medium question on lead code. Any medium question on lead code. Anyone. Maybe okay. star okay. can kill in mm -hmm. trees, grab and tree and arrays or strings. Ashmabo, any topic. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you, Mutuma. So, yes. That's Mutuma, right? You Yes, Mutuma. Okay, so, so. Thank you, thank you that uh, you've uh, you volunteered to to present on Saturday. That's a good move. Okay. Yeah. I think John, you can conclude now. So, uh, um, anyone wants to join Mutuma or? Uh, um, so that uh, you guys can work in a group. Um, so Mutuma, once, once you're added to the group, um, you will share the link to the chosen um, lead code question um, so that um, others can also look at it while uh, during the week so that when we come together, we can always um, troubleshoot and interact. Oh. Yeah. Okay, and I can use I can use whatever language uh, I'm comfortable with, right? Yes, yes, yes. Whatever, yes. All right. Even okay. Ruby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, see you next week by um, one p.m. GMT on Saturday. All right. Thank you so much, yeah. John. Bye, everybody. Bye, Enjoy everybody. your weekend. I forget. Okay, same to you. Um, lest I forget, we also we have a new cloud um, um, cloud developer um, cloud DevOps um, session during the week. Um, so I on Tuesdays. Yes. So um, that's uh, that's a new development, and we had our last uh, our first meeting last week. So. Um, so um, if you are um, into DevOps or you, um, you want to have idea on how DevOps interview looks like, so we usually have that 
on Tuesdays. Um, say, but by evening, on Tuesdays by evening. So on Tuesdays by evening. Yeah. So that is um, that is all. That's all for now. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.